addition using complementary numbers with respect to the number 5. So as you learned in the last lesson, this involves only two pairs of numbers, a 1 and a 4 and a 3 and a 2. So 1 and 4, 3 and 2 are your two pairs of numbers that trigger the use of the complementary numbers with respect to 5. So now we're going to do the same thing we did in the last lesson, with, but with numbers involving the tens column. So here we go. Start with the easy ones, just like, like we did before. We're going to do 11 plus 4. Well, here's the number 11. And to add 4, and I, I know I've said this before, but I don't have 4 beads. There's not a 4 that I can add here. So I use my complementary numbers, and I think to myself, oh my goodness, I remember how to do this. The complement to the number 4 is 1 which means I take away one and add the number five bead. So 11 plus four is, what, what number is that? 15. So 11 plus four is 15, and we used a roundabout complementary process to get to that. And pretty soon it's not going to be roundabout and it's not going to be slow. Our brain's just going to work that way and we'll fly through it. So here we go again. 13 plus 2. 13 is written a 1 and a 3. Oh, if I'm going to add, I don't have two more beads down here. How do I do it? Oh, you're probably getting sick of me doing this. But, oh, 2. Uh, oh, 2 is a complementary number. What is the complement to 2? Mm, I've written it down. Look at my... Uh, oh, 3. That means I take away 3 and add a 5. There we go. 13 plus 2 is 15. Oh, let's do one more. That was fun. I feel like my brain is working. I feel like I'm getting smarter all the time. My brain is thinking in a way that it's never thought before. All right, 14 plus 1. 14 is written a 1 and a 4. And I want to add 1 to that. Well, there's not a 1 down here, so complementary numbers again. So the complement of 1 with respect to 5 is 4. Okay, so I take away 4 and slide down the 5. Oh, number is 15 again. A 1 and a 5 is 15. All right, let's do one more. I, I, there's no way this could add up. To, so let's see. 12 plus 3. 12 is written a 1 and a 2. And we're going to add 3 to that. So 12 plus 3. Well, the complement to 3 is the number 2. That means I take away the number 2 and slide down the number 5. 12 plus 3. Oh, there it is. Again, it's 15. All right, let's get a little more tricky. Let's do two-digit numbers. 14. 14 plus 11. A 14 is written a 1 and a 4. And I'm going to add to that 11. Now, most of the time in abacus, you know, you're taught to work from the right to the left. But in abacus, we're always going to work from the left to the right. So in this sense, it makes it a lot easier. So here we go. And, well, 11 is written a 1 and a 1. I add my one here. Oh, there's not a spot. Complement. Uh, the complement to one is four, which means I take away that and slide down the five. Fourteen plus eleven is twenty-five. All right, let's do twenty-one plus fourteen. Twenty-one plus fourteen. Well, here we go. One. Oh, there's not four beads down here. That means I have to do complementary numbers. And so the complement to four is one, which means I take away one and add the five. 21 plus 14 is 35. There we go. All right, one more just for good measure. 32 plus 23. 
Well, a 32 is written a 3 and a 2. 32 plus 23. Ooh, boy, this is going to be a tough one. All right, we'll start right here. Okay, so 32 plus 23. Well, so I need to add a 2 here. Oh, I'm going to have to use a complementary number here. So the complement to 2 is 3, which means I take away 3, slide down the 5, and I need to add 3 here. The complement to 2, I mean the complement to 3 is 2, and I slide down the 5. 32 plus 23 is 55. All right, so there we go. Now you've learned how to use complementary numbers in the tens column. So print off your worksheet, go through it, and I know that you can do these in your head because you're so smart. But work through the problems, get used to using the complementary number method to figure it, to solve these problems. Key through them on your abacus. Don't break it. Don't get frustrated. If you have to rewatch this, and you probably will, that's just fine. You can watch it. You can watch this video a hundred times. There's no charge for watching it more than once. Completely free. So go watch this. Go struggle with the problems a little bit, or go ace them. And then, if you want to, just for fun, come back and watch this, or watch it to learn better. However, you want to do it.